Hey, hi, how are ya? I am Haley, and today we are going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. As of today, right now, um, not when this video goes out, it is my sweet little baby's very first birthday. I've never loved a console so much, and this one is, I, I am just so proud. I'm so proud of everything that the Switch has done this year. I wanted to dedicate a video to this beautiful baby because it deserves it. It's its very first birthday, you know? I just, I am. Um... So for those of you who don't know, let me tell you a little bit about the Nintendo Switch. I could I could sell this all day long. Like I I you could you could put me on the street, give me a switch and a bunch of people to talk to. I could sell a bunch of these babies. Let me tell you. This small but powerful console has become the fastest selling home console gaming system in the US, like ever. Selling 10 million units worldwide. There's 10 million of these. I, I can't even picture what 10 million looks like. 10 million of these, like, in one room? The Switch has outsold its big brother, the Wii U, and left it in the dust in, in less than a year. They outsold this poor little baby who is dirty from dust because I never play it anymore, but I, I will always love him. But just look how pretty they look next to each other. I wish I had like a Zelda themed one. Yeah, we still love you. You're just, you're, you're old, but I still love you. Let's stick him right here just so he feels relevant. <laughs> While the gamepad could give you a crisp picture of about 854 by 480p, the Switch can push out 1280 by 720p handheld. Like, I was so, I was so surprised how good this little thingy looks, just like playing it handheld. It looks amazing, it looks amazing playing Breath of the Wild handheld. Like, I was super surprised, especially having the Wii U for so long, because if you would try to play the Wii U handheld, number one, I couldn't go to the bathroom and play the Wii U, uh, but number two, you know, it didn't look that good. You, you did okay, but you, you don't, you don't do as good as this one. The controllers of choice for the Switch are the adorable Joy-Cons and the amazing Pro Controller. And I actually have a lot of Joy-Cons. <laughs> look how pretty they look all in my hands. I love it so much. So we have the classic gray Joy-Cons, the neon red and blue Joy-Cons that are sold separately, not with uh, the Switch, the really pretty, surprisingly pretty, I didn't think they were gonna look this good, um, yellow Joy-Cons that came out with arms, and the adorable pink and green Joy-Cons that uh, were released with Splatoon. And the ones that I own are actually the Japanese imports, or the European. I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, whatever. I bought these before they were available don't do that. <laughs> I bought these before they were available in the US and then it seemed like super, super soon afterwards um, they were announced in America. So it was kind of pointless, but mine are foreign, so. <coughs> I do want to collect all of the Joy-Cons. I'm only missing the uh, switched, ha, huh? switched. I'm only missing the switched version of the neon blue and red ones that come with the neon switch. I'm missing those. And then the red Joy-Cons that come with the special edition um, Switch that comes with Odyssey. I'm only missing those two, and then I have all the Joy-Cons. I love them so much. You can also clip off these little Joy-Cons and use them as their own separate controller, which I think was a super cool idea, even though I don't particularly like playing handheld with two people. I think the screen is way too small, but um, I think that was a really cool thing that they did, that you always have two controllers if you need them. As for the Pro Controller, which quite honestly to me is the best controller ever made for any console, uh, I do have the Splatoon one. I want a personalized one, like a Breath of the Wild one that I've seen on Etsy, but they're stupid expensive. Someday I'll have one. It feels really good to hold. The motion controls in the Pro Controller are amazing. I use motion controls for like everything on the Switch. Nintendo has spoiled me with their like amazing motion controls. Good stuff. Nintendo wasn't playing around. This is a really good controller. Get a Switch. Now for the dock, which I cannot begin to tell you how much I love the design of the console. Although the dock is stupid overpriced uh, by itself, it's $90. It is so, so easy to work with. I take my Switch to my dad's house a lot because he has a really, really big TV. Having a console that you literally just two cords, you need HDMI, 
and the uh, USB-C cord to power it. And that's it, you just slip this in and that's it. It's, it's amazing and let me, let me show you my carrying case. You guys have probably seen this before if you watched my um, Switch accessories haul. This beauty is the best thing that's ever happened to me. You put your Switch right here, you put your dock right here, and then you put your freaking Pro Control right here, and then it comes with this little bag to keep cords in. Close it up, zip it up. Super, super durable. I just, I love this thing. I love it so much. It has saved my life many times. Plus, I mean, come on. I mean, this, this dock cover right here, I think that should speak for itself. Like, it, it's it's beautiful. Look at it. Look, look. Now, the super fun part and the part that practically makes the console, the games. When the Switch first launched, we had a handful of games. Breath of the Wild, 1-2 Switch, Disgaea 5, uh, Fast RMX, Just Dance. You get my point. It was scarce. There was, there was nothing on there. It, it sucked. It, trying to find a game that was multiplayer to play with my friends when this first came out. As of today, a year from the Switch initially launched, we have added Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Doom, Minecraft, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS, Stardew Valley, Rocket League, Splatoon 2, Faye, you know? Of course I have to talk about Faye. The list just goes on and on. It's incredible how we went from nothing to all of this. I believe there were about 88 games, 80 or 90 games released um, in the first year alone for the Switch. Some of the most popular up and coming games on the Switch would include Bayonetta 3, which I should tell you is a Nintendo Switch exclusive, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which includes every freaking DLC from the Wii U and 3DS versions, Kirby Star Allies, Payday 2, Project Octopath Traveler, the new Yoshi game, Metroid Prime 4, and Dark Souls. Dark Souls. For you veteran nerds out there who have been in the herd for a while, you know how much I hate that game. And it's coming on the Switch. I never in a million years would have ever thought that game would be out on a Nintendo console, but that just goes to show you how far Nintendo is coming. You know, they, that how... It's not just a baby console anymore. Like, Nintendo is stepping it up. I, I just, I'm so, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Some of you might be wondering why this dorky girl is screaming about her console's first birthday over the internet, but it's because you guys have no idea how much this little machine has truly changed my life. My channel boomed because of my reaction video to the release date for the Nintendo Switch and Breath of the Wild trailer. Like, that's one of my most popular videos on this channel, and that's where a lot of you came from. That's where a lot of my Discord came from. The Switch gave me the amazing community that I have. I think for the most part that the Nintendo community is full of just a bunch of really sweet and passionate, beautiful people, and that's a lot of you guys. Because of this console, I am able to publicly say that Sean Chiplock, the voice of Rivali, like, he called me a friend on Twitter. He said that we're, we're good friends. Like, we're friends. We're friends. That never would have happened if this little guy didn't exist. He blew my channel up with his amazing gestures of sending me a personalized um, voice clip as Rivali congratulating me for beating the game and for paying the rest of the way for my trip to E3. Oh my god, E3. I got to experience that childhood dream, the dream that I've always wanted to achieve because of the Nintendo Switch, because of Sean, because Nintendo exists, and because Breath of the Wild exists. Burr. I feel like this entire video is just me geeking about the Switch, but you know what? I don't, I, I don't, I don't even care. It is my child's first birthday, and I am so proud of everything that it has done for me and a bunch of other people around the world. I love this, and I love all of you, obviously. I quite honestly, oh, I'm gonna get teary, oh my god. I honestly owe everything to this sweet little baby. Everything, I, I owe everything to this. So thank you, Nintendo, and happy birthday to my swooch. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you kind of grasp how much this little guy means to me. I think I've said that a billion times in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe down below to become part of the Nerd Herd. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye. You know, I almost bought like a cupcake and a candle and sang 
happy birthday to it. I thought that would have been a little much though and you guys would have made fun of me.